thank everyone for being here. These conversations are always appropriate and important and urgent. Uh, I think we need to be brave in having them and honest in having them and willful about having them. I think you need to be a good student of history when having them. I think you need to uh, be grounded in a fair amount of political acumen when having them. Um, there is a, a lineage that you can trace uh, in this country and in this conversation as it relates to the commodification of bodies. Mm -hmm. That is a cruel practice. It's one in which you cannot be regarded as human in order for it to function or to have any efficacy whatsoever. I cannot see you as I see myself and brutalize you. Mm -hmm. So you have to become other first. Um, it's a cruel and bruising system. The lineage of slavery shows up in the criminal justice system. Mm -hmm. um, it's not mysterious, it's not enigmatic, and it's not hidden. Mm -hmm. um, what I think is so interesting is the last thing I'll say. Um, you know, when you talk about the prison industrial complex, because I'm an etymologist, so language is important. We're not just going to talk like it, that words don't mean things. So when you talk about the prison industrial complex, you need to understand that that phrase did not always exist. Mm -hmm prison industrial complex has a histography. That histography is when prison is allowed to be big business. Mm -hmm. When you're no longer pretending about it being rehabilitative. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When it's just about making money and or punitive consequences. Mm -hmm. We've decided you should be punished, but while you're in there suffering, maybe you can make me some money, mm -hmm. right? So anytime you're having a conversation about the prison industrial complex, then you have to have the clarity and the understanding that the prison industrial complex is the acknowledgement that prison is big business. In order for prison to be big business, that means you also have to have an investment in crime. Mm -hmm. You have to feed the model, do you right. not? I mean, I'm just saying you don't have to be a business major, but if you have decided to invest in prison, you have to invest in crime. Otherwise, how do you feed the model? Here it is. So when you hear them talking about war on crime, that's a lie. Yeah. That's just some shit to say. Am I supposed to lie because I don't? <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds good, but you know better, right? right? So you have to pay attention and you have to be willful about conversations like this. You have to own the language. When you hear something that doesn't make sense, you have to stop and say, what do you mean by that? You have to. Otherwise, this is just pantomime. It's no different than when they say on camera, we got to talk about this war on crime. That's, you don't mean that. You don't mean that. Okay? So this particular poem was written, um, well, it was curated actually for Modus. This is called Prison is No Place. In 1704, the first slave patrols were started in the Carolina colonies. Before that, settlers appointed constables to police Native Americans and protect frontier cities from them, you know. Guard the land that was stolen from the ones it was stolen from. Mm -hmm. Slave patrols and night watchmen became police departments, you need to know that. Because when we see red and blue signs, blue lights, we see a lynch mob trying to form. We hear that old rumble, the one that would deny us our names. You draw your gun, we see a bull whip. It's old. Come on now. The fear, the loathing, the apprehension, resisting arrest is ancestral logic. I'll say it again. <laughs> Do it again. You draw your gun, we see a bullwhip. It's old. Mm. The fear, the loathing, the apprehension, resisting arrest is ancestral logic. Don't let them catch you. Can't let them catch you. We remember running barefoot in the woods in the swamp. 
Bare feet catching every shard that ever was. Running, running. Don't let them catch you. Can't let them catch you. Let me see your license and registration. That is the yacht of dogs on our heels. Step out of the car, please. That is an overseer snapping twigs in hot pursuit. Put your hands behind your back, crack of the whip. Put your hands up, smell of burning flesh. You call it law and order. We call it terrorism. You say, land of the free and feed us the rotten fruit of capture. The police were founded by slave catchers. You need to know that. That's an unblessed legacy no matter how you dress it up. Prison is cold for plantation, and prison is no place. The toilets don't work. The water ain't clean. You can hear the rats scratching in the walls. Solitary confinement till words leave you. Can't remember simple ones like love and goodbye. Language is slippery when you don't use it. When nobody speaks to you because everybody is shrieking. When no letters come, language is a graveyard of carrier pigeons. The rotting meat of unsaid things that make you curse God or cleave to him. Mm, come on now. You give up on sleeping. You wonder if you should make a shank. A boy last week was murdered in his cell. The CEOs laughed about it at lunch. Your DOC number replaces your name. Your mama can't make the long bus ride to visit. You're beginning to forget her face. Your commissary is always empty. You barter for cigarettes and time on the phone. Is your sister ashamed of you? Does your brother want to emulate you? It's a bruise no matter the answer. Savagery. Prison unpeoples you. Wrapping phone books around your waist to avoid being stabbed on your way to the yard. Prison is no place. You hide your feelings there. Can't fall apart there. When you get out, it's the same way. Your family needs you, your people need you, the community needs you. It takes you years to learn how to hold a bruise, mm. how to call it by its name. But you borrow from the lineage of Lazarus, kept your head in the lion's mouth, trying to prove that the cosmic fight of manhood is a dark altar held up by the bones of whoever is strongest. Prison is a skeletal place and prison is no place. You learned the death rattle religion of solitary cells, the bruised clergy of convicted men, the ones who made a mistake and got pinned to it. Mm. The ones who hurt soundlessly, roaring their spite in silence, Prison is no place, but some of us make it out. Mm. Yeah, we are the raw material, raw material of possible, so some of us make it out. We unlearn the hurt. You need to know that. How impossible we are, how fastened to history and hope. You need to know that. Though bruised, some of us make it out. A constituency of second chances running running, don't let them catch you, running, running, can't let them catch you, running, running, free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.